Lordy, I haven't played Detroit Become Human since, I want to say, maybe three years ago? Well, it can't be my counting skills. Pretty we need to proceed to a test. Shoot, you, you shut up. I'm trying to talk here. I know my math. I know my math. I can easily do this. One, two. <laughs> I swear I know this. Maybe I don't know my math. Oh, fuck. I got multiple choices here, I suppose. I can either play the game, study my math, or do nothing at all. All the game could crash. Just like that. This is gonna be a bumpy run! Ah, Hi! Good afternoon. Hello! Welcome to the Detroit experience. If it's if you can call it an experience, it's crashing! This is such an experience! Hey buddies, it's Will of DA Games and welcome to Detroit Become Human! Episode 2, yes you heard me, episode 2. This is not a new series, in fact the episode that I did last time was about 3 years ago. By the way, I would go check that out first just to catch you up to date, but I figure by now everybody's played Detroit Become Human, so maybe not. Whatever. Now, I would be playing this. I've been trying to play this for a while, but this game is notorious for crashing on Steam. And I do not want to try and play it on console because that means facing this way. And what an ugly angle that is to behold. And setting it up in orientation is a fucking ball lake. Like, it's really annoying, but I really, really want to play this game because I've been excited about finishing this thing. I, I love the game. I'm a sucker for butterfly effect games. And for the longest time, I held this off just simply because I was so busy. I was working on several albums. I was working on other games. And I'm not the kind of person that likes to stay still all the time. If a man has not discovered yeah. something he will die for, he's you not fit to live. That's a quote from Martin Luther King. I thought you'd like it. Shit. She pretty much just and then crashed and then crashed. Oh, you sussy boy! I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just because I'm not staying at the screen for long enough. I have no idea. But this is irritating. The game should be working. It's been out for years. I've set everything to low, and the interesting part is I'm running on a 3080. I know it's about a year old now, but that's still high tech. And it's minimum specs. Is uh, I'm done complaining. Now there is one thing that I did want to note about. I've gone back to the previous episode and basically to catch up because I didn't have my save data. I've done exactly as I did in the previous one, so it's basically just letting off from where we were. Without further ado, I'm pretty sure you guys are excited about this, and if you want to see more of this, put down in the comments below, and uh, smash that like button and hit the bell for more notifications. The most important thing is not to live. Okay, yeah, living is fine. Without further ado, let us begin the story. Yeah, you can see how much the graphics have changed ever since I turned everything down. It's just the way it has to be. Well, maybe you guys won't be able to see it because of the crunched bitrate, but still. I am in my bitless town. Now, I, I'm completely blind to this, so I'm unsure of what's going on. I just see this bit, and it just kept crashing. I just hope it doesn't happen this time. Now, cutting back to this character, why do I think he's from something I, like I've seen before? Like, is it Breaking Bad or... Uh, Better Call Saul or something. I I'm sure I've seen it. Anyway, I don't mind. I like this game so far. That's me. Wait, am I controlling him? <laughs> I thought I was controlling him for a second. I'm like, wait, what? Oh, yeah, you get to change the camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming, human. This is a house. Is it not? I'm not used to houses. I, as faithful android, live in box. Don't underestimate the power of the box, two though. Weeks, so the place is a mess. Okay. You do the housework, the washing, you cook the meals, and you take care of. God damn it! Where the fuck's the brat gone now? I'm a bot wife. Alice, Alice. Yeah, where is oh, the daughter? That's Just Alice. there immediately. After her. Spontaneously. If children could do that. Got it. I don't know how, how we even need the reproductive cycle. <laughs> All right, so our job is to clean up the house. Hold RT to scan your environment. I am scanning environment. Environment scanned. Dirty condom on table. Okay, so I gotta take out the trash. Right, I'm taking out the trash. Dirty habits. Die ha Wait, yeah. hang, hang on, hang on, hang on. You aren't supposed to put cutlery in the bin. What? I maybe. Maybe? I feel like we shouldn't have done that, but... Yeah, oh, yeah. well, he probably won't notice. What else do I need to do? Uh, clean the coffee table. Yeah, same place. You know. Oh. I think we could always just eavesdrop on this guy. Right. See what he's talking about. Or maybe not. Oh, I think he's finished. And he's huffing and puffing. TV on. <gasps> no fair, I want to watch TV. I want to watch TV. What are, we, what are we watching, the tweenies? Hey, are you ready to play? It's 
It's a great episode of the tweenies. Wonderful. They've all grown up and joined ice hockey. Let's go downstairs. Look at me. Yes, I'm human. I am human here with big trash bag. You do not need to look at me very weirdly. This is not a dead body. It is not a dead body. Oh, look, it's a bus. I wonder, I wonder, is this the same bus with um, the other guy on? Oh, I can't see. Take me with you. I don't want to be here. Oh. <laughs> Personal boundaries we set ourselves. I love you. Never forget me, cyber life. Ah, fuck them. They didn't need me. I didn't need them. Fuck, man. Yeah, fuck, man. I'll head upstairs. Do what you have to do and stop bothering me. Oh, God, okay, yeah. I don't want to bother you anyway. It looked like you could stab a few. Let's uh, go upstairs, shall we? Not too shabby of a place, if I say so myself. How you got a skit stain on the wall and the ceiling is beyond me, but... I ain't one to judge. I'm an android. I probably can't shit. Ooh. Are those debts? Or something? I saw, like, money on it. What's this? It is a leaflet. But what of? The girl's a fucking headache. Is this swimming from downstairs? Oh, dear. All right, well, let's ventilate this house. Let all the gang members outside throw in stuff again, I suppose. This doesn't look like a nice area. It's a cartoon! Oh my. Oh no. This is mysterious fart gas. It's on my hands. Oh no. Mama farted. <coughs> All right. Yep. I'm sure I know. I'm sure I know what I'm getting into. Pretty much the consensus is androids are part of the human society and humans, some humans don't like that. I suppose I'm trying to make idle conversation right now because all I'm doing is cleaning a room. All right. Oh, what's this? Medication warning and antidepressant. Supposing we took that as an android. No. But it just sort of gives you an idea of what to expect in this society. Well. That's... You're beautiful at cleaning room! Watch it. No. Sir, I'm gonna have to step in. I'm gonna have to step in and clean this, aren't I? there. Pesticide in your toilet rims. Hopefully you get an infection on your skin. Tart. Uh, clean bathroom. Oh, wait. What? Wait, where's the towel? Okay, I thought that was a poltergeist thing there. I genuinely thought looking through the mirror it was a ghost towel. Alright. Uh, mop the floor. Okay, I guess we'll do that. This is cleaning simulator. I'll bite. It works. This is making me want to clean. Like, just actually clean. Because I need to. It's not that bad, but... It kind of makes me want to, like, do stuff. All right, this must be the little girl's bedroom. Oh, hell, hi. I just want to tidy up your room a little. I need to be skirmish. Minutes. Is that okay, Alice? Just two minutes of pure agonizing torture because I am an android. Though, suspecting she no already knows who Carla is. Oh, nice cleaning of the bed. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. That's a bit cruel. Placing all those books up there when she can't reach? Yikes. Ah, you need the key. Can't go rummaging around there. You shouldn't be you shouldn't be able to anyway. Can you Oh, I guess we're ventilating this room too. Ah, uh, hello. <laughs> tidy Todd. Oh, I need to tidy Todd's room as well. I thought I did. I thought I already tidied Todd's room. Hang on. Oh, it's here. Okay, sweet. Well, that's just perfect. That's wonderful. I'm cleaning houses, guys. I'm finally being a role model, a citizen. Doesn't ch I already read this. I don't need to prove I can read twice. See, it's easy. Look, I can I can read this book right here on the floor. I can read it. Alistair in Wunderbar. Of course. I think I got it right. Oh, that's right, because the girl's Alice. Do you think that was a fatherly laziness, I guess? Just, or... I have no idea. I guess we will kneel to her every whim. I want to be friendly. I'm sure we used to be friends before I was reset. Maybe we can be friends again. She seems rather disappointed. I'm going to interest. You tell me about yourself. What you like to do, where you like to go, your favorite foods. Warm. That would really help me. I guess we're sort of embracing it. Um, 
Your father said you chose my name. That's true. Kara, it's nice. Wait How a minute. Choose it? Uh. What about your mother? Oh no. Will she be home soon? I didn't mean to do that. I did not mean to do that. Was that a bit too personal? Probably was. Was Kara the name of the mother? And maybe this key to the chest will tell me everything I need to know. <laughs> well, gotta be very careful to not slip over Alice in Wonderland. You seen those Tim Burton books, you'll never escape. All right, we'll get in. Ooh, a four leaf clover. Is that artificial or? Nah, that's n I'd like to think that was her personal good luck. Oh wow, that is a very detailed picture. Crikey. Gnarly stuff, indeed. Huh? Hang on. Why'd you spill ketchup all over you? You know you're supposed to eat through your mouthpiece, you know. I know it's blood. I know it's blood. Oh. Oh, okay, that, that sinister music is giving me the notion that this is abuse and not a friendly, friendly high-five to the ear. I <laughs> like how you would high-five an ear. Oh, yeah, okay, so we were broken. And that made her very sad. That made Alice very sad. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we're putting this back. God, these cinematic angles make me think if she just turns around, there he is. But he's not. Cripes. I think, I guess before we do that, let's have a look around and see if there's anything else. I don't want to, like, do... Oh, I guess I can't. What are you doing? Uh, I'm playing. Yes. Playing. Mm-hmm. I know what you're thinking. <laughs> Hide and seek. What am I, life. 36? Huh? Fucking loser. Can't oh get a God. job. Take care of his family. This is turning into an episode of Steve Wilkos. But whatever I do, when someone comes along, they just fuck it all up! Get the hell off my stage! You hate me. You hate me, don't you? Oh my god, okay. say it! Get the hell- Say get the hell off my stage! <laughs> this is like some Steve Wilkos episode. This is like after the show. What am I doing? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know I love you, don't you? You know I love you. No! Get the hell off my stage! Oh, crikey. Okay, well, I went downstairs to ask for stuff, but I guess that wasn't gonna happen. Wait, hang on. What? What did I miss? Boy, I cleaned the first floor, didn't I? Did I do something? Did I need to do something else? Go upstairs, uh, clean the second floor. Alice, go to her room. Blah, blah, blah. Ventilate the room. Car disco Kara discovers a way down, and Kara sees gun. There is a gun there? I mean, how does this change stuff? I mean, this is... This is the outcome that I got, and maybe all of that did change to get to the talk of Alice bit. I got her to give me the key, which opens Alice's box, but this is gonna be the problem. I'm gonna get like, I don't want you guys to be upset with me on my choices. I just wanna play the game. Just, just to pause for a second, because I really wanna play this game. I wanna enjoy it to the most fulfillment point. And I feel like butterfly effects, you're supposed to enjoy it the way that you enjoy it. I feel like when people sort of dictate the choices chosen, I, I'm not sure. Like, I don't wanna disappoint anybody, and I've, but of course I wanna do it my way. So if we can try and get that little piece together before we go further. I think I said it in the first episode, but just in case you're watching this as a marathon, just want to clarify, I don't mean to do nasty things on this playthrough. I just, I'm just trying to play the game. And quite frankly, I'm pretty sure there's going to be like more openings that people haven't seen. Then again, this, this, this game is like so old too. So it's hard to tell. Oh, we're back with boy. Where are we off to? Ooh, that is a nice house. That is a very nice house. I am Marcus. I get the privilege to pee on this floor. Why would you ha I mean, if if there's only- this is supposed to be relatively- <coughs> Sorry, I'm allergic to fucking overpriced bullcrap. I mean, is this for one person? I couldn't live in this condition. Like, one person living in this huge empty space? I remember, uh, like, my previous house that I was in, I used to, like, shout in my Let's Plays, and I'd hear myself from upstairs, because it was that reverby. It was so weird. I couldn't live in that condition anymore. I need something like more insulated and, oh my goodness. Jesus, this screen is beautiful. And to think we're not far off from that tech today. Checkmate in three moves for silver. Oh, well, I guess I found something. <laughs> that was pretty cool, it was pretty nifty. I could spin it. 
There is an Africa? What is this Africa? Ah, I see. Dinosaur. <laughs> Giraffes are just very colorful dinosaurs. Okay, it helps us have a look at stuff. Is there, is there like Easter eggs on this thing that I should be noticing? Maybe. I know they like to hide this stuff a bit. Could I go in here? What's in here? It's a kitchen! And I'm back out here again, okay. Wait, I saw a bird! I'll come back to the bird soon. Oh, I guess I'm like, sorting out dinner. Look at that, see? Uh, oh, this might be take tray to the dining table. I could be a very good person for doing this. I could be. I'm courteous, despite what my gameplay tells you. This is the dining table, right? Oh, well, I put it on the table. Birdies! Wait a minute, hang on. Hang on, what? They're, they're robot birdies. I'd find it pretty scary if I had a bird in my house that was a robot. I'd like to think that was more of a drone. <laughs> Pathetic. <laughs> Every time he looks in the mirror, he can't look back. Ooh, what's this? Deer. Lots of deer. Is that a fish? No, wait, no, that's another deer's head. A fucking fish. <laughs> it's got a weird tail at the very end. And birds. Deers, fish, and birds and shit. And I think that one's just impaled your stomach. No, I know. I know what it is. Oh, I guess who we are. Take care of Carl. Carl! Rise and shine, Carl! Good morning, Carl. Good morning. It's 10 a.m. Yep. The weather is partly cloudy. 54 degrees. 80% humidity with a strong possibility of afternoon showers. I don't think I'd like- it Sounds like a good day to spend in bed. I don't like the fact that I, I did go have to something to announce order. my oh, day yes, I going forward. It's why, I mean, there's that, that feature on iPhones and Androids, but I just, I just can't do it. You never forget anything. Yeah, like the time you literally dropped your genitals Spear on the table. Arm. I know you're no. old, but you, it, age isn't necessarily shown by state of mind. I just opened my eyes and I'm already gritting my teeth. There we go. Machine. I've just injected you with cyanide. It should affect in a it few hours. So quickly. All this effort to keep him going. Oh, I thought it was going to be more existential mm. than that. I didn't even think it was physical. What happened to your clothes? Oh, it's nothing. Just some oh, was this, the, in the street this was the scrap that happened. I remember a that. bunch of idiots. They think they can stop progress by roughing up a few androids? Yes. I hope they didn't harm you. No. Yes. They just pushed me around, Carl. They just pushed us around. It's all good. We're stronger than that. Okay. I'll take you to the bathroom now. Now remember, when you're done pee-peeing in the toilet, you only tinkle three times. I do not want to watch you wanking again. Let's just get ourselves in the living room and hope nothing happens. Starving. Well, your breakfast is ready. Bacon and eggs, just the way you like them. Thank you, Marcus. You're welcome. Wait, why did I need to spin around like that? I didn't do that off my own admission. It just, it just decided, <laughs> do, a, do a quick little 360 with Grandpa. Television. Oh, here we go with politics. Why don't you find something to do while I finish my breakfast? No, I like sure. to watch you uncomfortably. Okay, Carl. How's your bacon, Carl? How's your eggs, Carl? I laid them myself, Carl. The Arkham Carl! I don't like this! I don't like this TV that you're watching, Carl! You're not even watching, Carl! Turn on the TV and not even watching. Television off. <laughs> I fucking had enough of this bacon you. Mankind is so depressing. <laughs> oh my god. Nothing with greed, <laughs> stupidity, and violence. <laughs> Five thousand. I didn't years think of breakfast would be this existential. <laughs> I play chess. I'm sitting down. Yeah, don't mind me. I used to do this in school. Nobody played with me. Fancy game of chess. Sure, yeah. Speed oh God, chess. but I'm no good at speed, speed chess. It is. I'm no good at this. Wait, do I have to do it? Um, lose. Oh, wait. Oh, that was just a little bit too easy. Are your circuits rusty? <laughs> or are you just taking pity on an old man? Oh, don't see right through me. Well, I thought you'd enjoy winning. <laughs> Never throw a match, Marcus. If you can win, win. Okay. 
That's what got humanity where it is today. I just, you know, being an android, wanted to give some well, empathy I won't points. Be here to take care of you anymore. Well, it's okay, because I can win chess. You'll have yourself. It's fine. <laughs> and make your choices. Decide who you are. Huh. And want to become. This world doesn't like those who are different, Marcus. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be. Huh. Let's go to the studio. Don't make me think. Come on, that's that's awfully nice. That's an awfully nice sentiment. Look, all jokes aside, this game is really fucking cool at, like, dictating story. It's wonderful. I'm not here to be sentimental. I'm here to be a goofball. Look! Giraffe! Here we are, the place where I wasn't supposed to be, but I'm here now. Let's wow. see where we left off. This is state-of-the-art the stuff. Sheet. Oh, remove the sheet. Yeah, I guess I gotta do that. Remove! Or just slide, I guess. Oh, wow. This is pretty nifty. Pretty nifty stuff. Uh, you know, I guess I could clean the studio. Put it on the shelf. Clean everything else. Wait, I just put it on the shelf to then move it somewhere. Okay. I won't lie, I've made those decisions before. Like, I put something somewhere and then it just feels off and I've, while I've cleaned something else, I'm like, oh, it's perfect place, actually. But I'm an android. I'm supposed to have hindsight. I like art. That is a nice painting. I don't exactly look pleased, though. So, what's your verdict, Marcus? It's a piece of sh- No, I like it. Yes, there is something about it. Hmm. Something I can't quite define. Hmm. I guess I like it. The truth is, I have nothing left to say anymore. <laughs> a confession of an artist, you just write, you just draw bull crabs, go, I'll be honest, I stop giving a fuck. Each day that goes by brings me closer to the end. I'm just an old man clinging to his brushes. Carl. Carl! But enough about me. Let's see if you have any talent. I do, I'm an android. Give it a try. I was programmed try with talent in mind. Paint? But would I... Painting what? Anything you want. Give it a try. Hmm. Okay. <sighs> All right. Well, this is my art piece. I like to call it mustard ketchup bogies and shit. Find a subject to paint. Paint Carl's painting. Is there anything else that I can paint? Paint the statue. I'm going to paint the statue. I'm going to do it as if I was printing. Oh, God damn it. There we go. Yeah, this printer's slightly delayed. I'm sorry. It's like. That is a perfect copy. Of reality. The painting is not about replicating the world, it's about interpreting, improving on it, showing something you see. Exactly. Carl, I don't Exactly. You can't intimidate can this that. stuff. It's not in my program. I... Can't on, take away from the original. Try. Grab that canvas. Gotta do something in your own eyes, which is what we're gonna do with our own. We're gonna experiment now. Close your eyes. Trust me. Press A to close eyes. Try to imagine something that doesn't exist, something you've never seen. Press B now to brace buttocks. And let your hand drift across the canvas. Kind of makes me feel sad. <sighs> okay, so there's a bunch of choices. I'm closing my eyes for this. I'm closing my eyes for this. Okay, right. So I don't know what I chose. But I'm gonna draw exactly as this guy's doing. I'm playing as the character. I'm doing it. I have no idea what I'm drawing, but I'm going ahead and doing so anyway. Because it's all from the imagination. This is how we should be doing things. What did I... Damn. Oh my god. Damn. I don't know what I drew. Was that dread or was that like... Hey, Dad. Reality or... I don't know. Yeah. I didn't hear you come in. No, I was in the neighborhood. Daddy! I Daddy, I need more bubblegum, Daddy! You all right? No! I have no bubblegum! So oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen. Uh, I need some cash, Dad. Again? Oh, here we go. Okay. What happened to the money I Didn't just gave? Didn't think spoiled, but here we are. <laughs> it just goes, you know? <laughs> yeah. I'll take you to the children's home. Yeah, you're on it again, aren't you? No. The no, fuck no, do you I think you are? Like no, don't lie to me, Leo. What difference does it make? I just need some cash. That's all. 
Oh, sorry. No. The answer is no. You got your priorities what? straight, Dad. Why? You know why. You should take it yeah. in for. Yeah, I think I do know. Why. Lord knows whatever. <laughs> you'd rather you'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy here than your own son. Yeah, because I'm a good right? husband. I'm a husband. I'm a good son. Well, I can access a husband that. too. Depends on what you pay me for. More obedient, not like me, right? Yeah. But you know what? This thing is not your son. It's a fucking machine! Leo, that's enough! Damn. Enough. I want to try and act disgruntled, but it, I'm gonna be honest, I'm in a wheelchair and I'm 95. At this you point, I've anyone. seen everything. You never love me, Dad. I wouldn't love you if you were like- Well, no, me. of course it's unconditional love, but I wouldn't like you right now. I wouldn't appreciate you. Definitely doesn't deserve the bubble gum. Kinda wanna just be there for him right now. Huh? Crazy. Crazy how things turn out. All right. Well, I guess that paved me a journey. There, there would, could have been two other possible journeys that I could have taken with uh, androids, humanity, and identity. But I took the fate option and Leo intruded to ask for money. I guess that, like, could have happened anyway. Drop a package, wake up Carl, serve breakfast, find something to do, play chess. So that was the activity. That was the activity to do, but I could have chosen, like, many of them. But I'm going to save that episode for there. This is episode two of Detroit Become Human. I absolutely do not regret doing this. Aside from the crashes, this story is looking so cool. I'm really excited to play further. And uh, yeah, if you guys like what you saw here, you want to see more, put down in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe and slap the bell if you haven't. Share with your friends and family, maybe your dog. Check out DA Games Official on Twitter for the newest information on music, animations, let's plays, and live streams. I'm Will DA Games. We trade. Hey. And we'll, of course, see you in Detroit because you can't have shit in Detroit. I just had shit.